we have with us Mr. Uh, for a, a presentation uh, uh, titled Identity and the Others. Uh, it is the first time that we have this first part of the public program, Summer School School. Uh, we were discussing Shadow several times how he can be involved in the program. I'm going to read briefly uh, his. Uh, Summarized biography, so Mr. Bisha is a philosopher and sociologist. He finished bachelor studies at the University of Pristina, while well, MA and PhD studies at the University of Zagreb in Croatia. He worked for many years in various teaching positions, almost in all levels of education. He taught philosophy, logic, critical thinking, cultural studies, sociology, economic sociology, research methods, and academic writing. For many years, he was engaged in the field of media in various roles. Journalist, writer, media development, media regulation, and teaching. He was also involved in the field of civil society. He worked as a coordinator and program manager for the Kosovo Foundation of Open Society and also served as a board member of various think tank groups and research institutions. He was president of Kosovo's Association of Philosophers and Sociologists and also served as the editorial committee member for scientific, professional, and cultural journals. There's more uh, from his bio, which you can find in the materials in the space. I'm going to read briefly uh, the abstract that we have with us for, for the presentation tonight. Uh, so, by taking the relations with the others as a defining moment of identity, uh, the author of this presentation considers the formation and or transformation processes and mechanisms of social identities. The author introduces the concept concepts, identity, situation, and functional identity in order to further explain the transformation process of social identities. The identity situation of social entity is defined by its relations with the others in which or through which certain identities are formed or transformed. Social subjects or entities enter into relations with the others in order to achieve certain goals. All social entities before any anticipated relation with the others and or during that relation conduct a permanent relational economic reorganization of all their symbolic resources or moments of identification to achieve the best results in their projected goals in these relations. The optimal result of this relational economic self-organization of social entities is its self-identification with the purpose of achieving its projected goals in relation with the others. Instead of the uh, widely used uh, the normal concept of true and false identities that in fact do not adequately articulate and eliminate this issue, the author uses the term performative identity, which is a constant dynamic relationship of reciprocal definition of the so-called intimate or real identity. Thank you so much, Yusuf, for being with us uh, for this presentation, which is, uh, I think, seminal and crucial for our, for our context and for the context of a new state, which has brought forward, uh, let's say, several steps of the formation of new identity. Uh, we are looking forward to, to your presentation. The floor is yours. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, Andrew. Uh, thank you for... <coughs> invitation and for presentation and uh, also for introduction which uh, makes it uh, easier for me and uh, allows me to go straight to the topic. But <clears throat> as uh, Albert uh, <coughs> described, uh, Tonight I <coughs> uh, intend to <coughs> speak about uh, uh, <coughs> Kosovo identity and uh, <coughs> in order to uh, explain enigma of Kosovo identity I <coughs> Uh, introduce uh, some uh, anal analytical <coughs> concept, uh, namely uh, identity situation, function of identity, performative identity, uh, intimate identity, and so on. So, <coughs> uh, 
Let's start with the context, post war context of uh, <coughs> Kosovo's society, uh, which defines this uh, context of uh, transformation of uh, Kosovo identity. Uh, post war context uh, would be <coughs> uh, easiest to uh, uh, formulate as the liberation of Kosovo from uh, Serbian colonial rule in 1999. This uh, <coughs> dramatic historical <coughs> turn uh, changes the context of development of Kosovo society, initiating processes of deep and radical changes in uh, all fields of uh, in all its fields. Of course, this uh, process is in to affect the identity, dynamics of identity of uh, Kosovo society as well. Uh, <coughs> namely, uh, shortly after the war in uh, <coughs> 1999, the public debate uh, of Kosovo, on Kosovo identity was launched by the mass media for the first time. This, but this debate, which is still ongoing, has been very controversial. Indeed, <coughs> the very beginning of this debate, shortly after the war, was unexpected and confusing for the greater part of uh, Kosovo's public and indeed academia as well. Uh, <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, some people Try to uh, explain uh, uh, this phenomenon in various ways, and uh, in uh, quite a large portion of uh, uh, this discussion, uh, we have seen uh, positions that. Uh, Discussion on Kosovo identity is uh, unnecessarily fictive or harmful. Furthermore, <coughs> some participants in uh, this debate also uh, jump to conspiracy theory in order to explain this phenomenon. Although it is not necessary to waste words explaining that the post war debate on this issue is in fact an expression of identity transformation process triggered by the radical change socio political context created by Kosovo's liberation from Serbian colonial rule, a general reference uh, to post war context is not sufficient to understand and explain this phenomenon. So, how then <coughs> can we approach this uh, issue? How can we explain this uh, unexpected and intriguing phenomenon of Kosovo identity? Identity is at the very beginning of its history as a philosophical category in uh, Aristotle, defined in relation to the other, 
different. According to him, each thing is uh, identical with uh, itself and different from the other. Uh, <coughs> or, uh, all to all is either the same or the other. Uh, this is, uh, we can find it in metaphysics. Uh, <coughs> Later on, in modern time, we can find a condensed formulation of this definition of identity in relation to the other. Uh, in Fichte, uh, he determines uh, I in relation to not I, or in his words, the I presents itself as determined through the not I. Later on, this question remains central to Schelling, who, in the wake of Fichte, emphasized that the I cannot limit its producing without opposing something to itself. While in Hegel, this relationship in the phenomenology of spirit takes on a social, that is, historical dimension, since human self consciousness recognizes itself, here self identifies, and then historically develops only in a dia dialectical <coughs> relationship with the other that is, with another self-consciousness. <clears throat> uh, also, some of most uh, prominent uh, <clears throat> contemporary authors acknowledge or emphasize the essential importance of the relationship of the other, of otherness for defining and developing identity. For example, Paul Ricoeur, Habermas, uh, <coughs> Charles Taylor, and others. Uh, so, if we assume that the relationship with uh, the others is uh, important for the formation and or transformation of identities uh, <coughs> of uh, social uh, entities, then the question arises whether the post-war context has brought about any changes in the identity relation of the cultural society with its main others. First of all, we can say that uh, uh, in 1999, Serbia was uh, ousted from the position of the main other of the Kosovo society. Uh, <coughs> the so-called international community that arrived first in the form of K4 or NATO military forces and then as an army of bureaucracy of the new army administration, as well as hundreds, hundreds of various non-governmental and governmental organizations, becomes the first order of uh, <coughs> uh, Kosovo society. And uh, on its other side, <coughs> Albania is becoming the second other for Kosovo, primarily as a result of intense, undisturbed cultural cooperation in the Albanian-speaking area after the fall of the Albanian Berlin Wall.
although there are no uh, uh, reliable empiric empirical uh, researches on this issue, one can say that uh, uh, Serbia slided at least in third place as a significant other of Kosovo society. <clears throat> so, uh, So it is in this context of, of dominant relation with the international community in all the areas of life and unprecedented intense free cultural cooperation with Albania that the until then relatively passive cultural identity is activated and gains in importance. This identity becomes useful or irreplaceable above all for the policy of multi-ethnic Kosovo, which was promoted by ANMIC. Uh, besides, Kosovo identity was uh, reacting also in social cultural communication with Albania, since it was used by Albanians of Albania to differentiate or categorize Kosovo Albanians. The history of categorizing Kosovo Albanians as Kosovo in Albania can be traced more or less clearly in political and cultural discursive production from the declaration of its independence, that is, the end of the First World War. But such categorization or identification was not visible or accessible to Kosovo Albanians due to their inability, inability to communicate with Albania. But only after the war in 1999, with intense cultural cooperation and massive tourist exchange between Kosovo and Albania, Will Kosovo Albanians discover that for their brothers across the border, uh, they are first of all Kosovars and only then possibly members of the abstract imaginary community Albanian nation? So, uh, in a view of what has been said, we could therefore argue and conclude that unexpected promotion of Kosovo identity shortly after the war is primary, the result of categorization but by the two main others of Kosovo society in the new post-war identity situation. That is, by the international community and Albania. changes of identity communication war. To better understand this process, it is useful to look at these issues, first of all, at the macro-social level, where these phenomena have much faster dynamics and all that's more obvious. Namely, if we start from the level of daily life, we know from the experience that during the same day we can activate several of our many identities depending on the number of relationships with the others we enter into. For example, in the morning while still at home 
We activate our family identities. We could be sons or daughters of somebody, or we could be parents <coughs> of somebody, or brothers or sisters of somebody else. Uh, <coughs> Later, if we are employed and go to work, we activate our professional identity. Sometime later, we can activate, let's say, our political or party identity, if we have one. Then in another so social situation, our religious identity, if we are believers. Then say, age identity, etc. <clears throat> the number of identities we activate during one day or during a certain period of time depends on the number of social relationships with the others, on social situations we are entering. On the other hand, process of identity Transformation in larger, uh, more complex social entities are slower. So it can be said that the larger social entities, the slower and longer the processes of transforming their identities. But these larger social entities of, offset their slowness with their complexity. Namely, the smallest social entities, that is, individuals have the ability to move from one to another social or identity situation at a much faster rate, but they cannot at the same time actively participate in two different social or identity situations. For example, if two friends or members of the same family while in the presence of each other and enter into communication or virtual parasocial relationships with other persons via their phones, computer answer, they cannot simultaneously communicate and become fully engaged in a real, meaningful social relationship with their loved ones who are physically present to them. Thus, in this case, these two acquaintances friends or members of the same family cannot establish or nurture their friendly or emotional relationship, but in the given situation they are present for each other only as two mere different indifferent sorry, as two mere indifferent bodies. <coughs> Establish and nurture 
simultaneous parallel relation with many other countries, international organization or institution, owing to the fact that its parts or sub entities, <coughs> for example, government, uh, various institutions, organizations, etc., are man mandated to maintain or nurture its certain identity relation with others. For example, a European country can simultaneously be a member of EU, NATO, the UN, the International Monetary Fund, etc. <coughs> Likewise, in larger social entities, their identity situation which are determined by relations with their main others, change more slowly. In larger social entities, that is, for example, society, states, etc., these processes can take years, decades, or even centuries. In the example of Kosovo, we have seen that its identity situation for Oh, almost uh, a century year from its occupation uh, uh, in uh, 1912 uh, has been determined by dominant relation with her main other, that is Serbia. <coughs> can result in the formation of new identity and the transformation of old, old, that is, existing identity. This transformation can then lead to changes in identity priority list. Namely, in a new identity situation of the social entity, some of its identities can gain importance while others other identities of, of the same entity can fall lower in its identity priority list. One uh, example of this uh, phenomenon uh, we can find in the uh, famous book of uh, uh, famous book, Who We Are, America's Great Debate uh, of Samuel Huntington. Uh, namely, he notes that uh, the prominence or salience of uh, American national identity prior to September 11, 2001, was rather low since most Americans until then were inclined to give more importance to their ethnic, racial, or <coughs> gender identities. He uses example of Charles Street in Boston, where on September 11, uh, 2001, only one American flag was displayed. Uh, <coughs> Two weeks later, he noticed that 17 American national flags uh, were displayed in the same street. This was just one illustration, <coughs> illustrative example of the 
broader from phenomena in American society at the time, namely, at the same time here in early October 2001, 80% of Americans said they displayed their flag. <clears throat> For example, Walmart uh, reported sales of 160,000 American flags on September 11 and 250,000 the next day, compared to only 6,400 and 10,000 during the same days of the previous year. So, as you can see, the terrorist attacks against the United States in September 11, 2001 created a new identity situation for American society which would lead to a sudden and dramatic rise in salience of national identity for Americans compared to their other identities. In case of Kosovo, national and or ethnic compulsory uh, identities prior to 1999 undoubtedly dominated the priority identity list of Kosovo society. Although these identities remain salient even after 1999, the new post-war identity situation does create more space for the articulation of the other identities of Kosovo society. Thus, consequently, we have an increase of relevance for salience of Kosovo identity, but also of, for example, religious identities of Kosovo society. But this, as we <coughs> mentioned earlier, provoked sharp reaction against Kosovo identity since many participants in the post-war debate on the issue considered it a dangerous threat to Albanian national identity. Now, <coughs> Let's say uh, something about this <coughs> uh, concept uh, of identity situation which I introduced in order to discuss and analyze uh, these uh, issues. Uh, social relationship or social situation that contains identi identity communication can be called an identity situation. This can be a kind of definition of uh, this concept that I introduced. However, since every social situation contains identity communication as its essential dimension, then we can say that any social situation can be called an identity situation if viewed from the perspective of identity communication. <coughs> the identity situation is defined by the presence of the other or others in our life world or by the presence of the other or others with whom we have entered into the relationships of identity communication. Thus, one identity situation is determined by relationships with others or through which certain identities are created, maintained, 
or accurate. In other words, from the perspective of participants in identity communication, an identity situation is defined by the intentions or projections of identity subjects in a particular identity communication. Thus, the relationship with the others is the basic for the any formation or transformation of identity. This is true uh, uh, for all types of identities. Indeed, even the most intimate monologue of the subject of personal identity is essentially a socially medi mediated dialogue with the others. Social subjects or entities enter into relationship with the others in order to activate certain in order to achieve certain goals. All social entities before each anticipated and or during the relationship with the others permanently, rationally or Economically organized or reorganized, or reorganized all their symbolic resources, identification moment in order to better realize their projection in this relationship. The optimal result of this rational, economical, self organizational uh, social entity is. <coughs> its self-identification or its self-designed identity for representation in order to realize its goal in relation to the others. So the logic of this process is the logic of maximizing optimally utilizing symbolic resources or moments of identification to realize maximum profit in relationship with the others. With this in mind, if the economy is the optimal use of resources to maximize performance or profit, then here we can talk also conditionally about identity economics. Now, uh, another aspect of uh, <coughs> One example of this uh, phenomenon from everyday life uh, uh, 
an example of uh, biography. Uh, when we design, for example, our CV, we try to make it uh, fit for purpose. Uh, thus, if we want to apply with that CV for a job, vacancy, we will emphasize those qualifications and work experience that makes make us a better candidate for a job. So we selectively organize our CV or construct our professional identity in a form that needs to qualify us to accomplish our goal in that abstract relationship with this impersonal others we assume are behind the job advertisement. Let's suppose that everything in the biography is true. But we have stated only what is required or what we assume will help us achieve our goal. Therefore, the performative aspect of our presentation to the others with the professional identity designed in this way is obvious because our profession, professional identity designed in this way has the function of realizing our goal in an abstract relationship with the organization that advertised the vacancy. One illustrative example of uh, fully performative behavior towards others to achieve a specific goal is uh, we can find it in a, a poem, uh, uh, the abduction papers uh, uh, of Jackie K. The poem describes in a first person the difficulties or peripetia of a woman uh, trying to adopt a child. Uh, she uh, beautifies her CV to construct the identity of a role model candidate for a good mother. Good mother. Hiding moments of her biography she fears could harm her bid to have a child, such as her left-wing political identity and <coughs> pending a visit of a social worker, she arranges her apartment the best she can, hiding the books of Marx, Engels, and Lenin the daily worker is paid for that, sir. The uh, ultimate example of performative identity is, of course, the actor. He completely identifies with his role to convince us that he became the character himself. The same extreme of uh, performative behavior is represented by a deadly serious game of the intelligence agent who uses a false identity uh, to fulfill his mission, for example, to obtain the <coughs> desired information. It, uh, on, of course, it can be noted that, uh, except uh, for the first example, in other cases, it is a matter of false representation acting of false identity. 
this of course is correct, but we have given this example to see how the construction of a certain identity to achieve its goal works, even if it's completely performative. And for the thousand or performative aspect of identity communication, was it not the great Shakespeare who wrote in his comedy, As You Like It? All the world is a stage and all the men and women merely players. <clears throat> In the wake of Shakespeare, all the authors uh, <coughs> will make interesting conversation about the dramaturgical uh, character of human behavior. With the social uh, sci sciences and humanities, this issue is clearly noted, for example, by, by William James, who writes that uh, man has many social selves. Uh, <coughs> but the uh, uh, first explicit thematization and effort to theoretically articulate this issue occurs uh, in the 50s by some sociologists. Uh, one author relates this to the emergence of television and new mass media. Uh, <coughs> these uh, authors are, for example, Kenneth Group. Uh, but uh, uh, one of them. Uh, but the most significant contribu contribution to the theoretical articulation and development of this dramaturgical perspective for considering human behavior uh, was given by Erwin Goffman. In his famous book, The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life, which was published in 1956, he argues in detail and convincingly that each person's presentation to others in everyday life has a performative character. <clears throat> According to him, when an individual appears before others, his actions will influence the definition of the situation which they come to have. Sometimes the individual will, will act in a thoroughly calculated manner, ex expressing himself in a given way solely in order to give the kind of impression to others that is likely to evoke from them a specific response he is concerned to obtain. Consequently, <coughs> to, to describe and explain all these issues, he uses concept or expressions such as stage, performance, play, part, show, etc. Uh, 
Today there is a talk of a new dramatic awareness emerging among the millennial youth, the first generation to grow up in the internet and uh, live in a collaborative social spaces that exist all along the world wide web. <coughs> Moreover, it can be said that the principles of dramaturgy today apply to all institutional forms of social life. For example, these principles have become mandatory in all modern, uh, in all schools of management. They are also considered necessary in such specific areas as the training of medical staff as one doctor must master theatrical techniques in order to successfully communicate with his patients. <clears throat> in other words, uh, the principles of theater and the theory of, and practice of dramaturgy are finding their way into which world every field. <clears throat> now, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, <clears throat> we mentioned earlier uh, performative uh, identities. Uh, people used to uh, uh, employ a concept as, such as uh, false or true identities in order to uh, uh, articulate these uh, issues. However, uh, <coughs> This uh, <coughs> binomial concept, uh, uh, although uh, signify a problem, they uh, are not uh, uh, <coughs> are not precise and not very useful to elaborate this issue. However, uh, people in uh, everyday life uh, are preoccupied with this question. They constantly seek to determine whether or to what extent others with whom they communicate or engage in social relation, relationship are honest in what they say or do. Moreover, uh, this uh, issue does not only arise in everyday social interaction among individuals, but that is also present in institutionalized level of social life and is quite realistic in so-called world politics or international relations. For example, it is uh, it was of paramount importance and urgency not only to U.S. administration but also to the wider international community to question how true or credible are North Korean dictators' uh, repeated threats of nuclear strikes against U.S. and its allies in South. Asia. That is, whether or how true are his claims that his country has succeeded in developing missile technology for nuclear strikes on the very mainland American territory. <clears throat> for the North Korean 
ruler and his government. On the other hand, the question of whether or how true <clears throat> or credible uh, the threats of <clears throat> U.S. President Donald Trump were, or the possible use of military force of <clears throat> against North Korea has <clears throat> became a real nightmare. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this uh, uh, we must acknowledge that this general notion of the difference between real and true, uh, real or true, and false identity, to some extent, simultaneously reveals and conceals a particular problem. Uh, it could be said that the term true and false identity is as much as they indicate the one or at the same time in adequate to identify and articulate the problem. In order to uh, approach this issue, we need to look for a solution uh, in another way. First of all, we can say that although the previously elaborated insight into how all identities are performative can serve as a starting premise, it should still, it should still be argued that there is Nevertheless, a possible difference or tension between performative identity and so-called so and conditionally speaking intimate or real identity. Depending on uh, the function of a particular identity, the difference between these two poles of or layers of self-identification contain all possible forms or dimensions in the range from being uh, imperceptible or unconscious to the ultimate schizophrenic gap. <coughs> but we cannot uh, Uh, here we cannot go into details and discussing this spectrum of differences between these two forms of self-identification. To <coughs> develop our argument, it's sufficient to identify uh, the three main forms of the differences between intimate and uh, performative identity. And these are imperceptible difference, conscious difference, and extreme mutual exclusion gap. Ignore the third form of 
difference between the two forms of self identification mentioned. Okay. Since it is very rare and uh, we may encounter it in cases of deliberate extreme manipulation of identity such as theft or use of someone else's identity. So for us uh, is uh, uh, relevant uh, second uh, uh, difference, that is conscious difference be between these two layers of uh, self-identification. Since uh, only in this case we can speak of a real difference between these two layers of forms of self-identification. Depending on uh, the function of perform performative identity, its relationship with the so-called intimate identity can take on different subtypes in terms of its character, dynamics and duration. Uh, <coughs> I'm trying to skip and to speed up because how we are doing in time? Five minutes? Yes. Okay. We can open a discussion and then yeah. <coughs> Okay, uh, then I will try to uh, <coughs> sum up uh, what I elaborated uh, so far. After everything said on this issue so far, it becomes clear that all of the conceptual binomial true and false and then implies indicates the existence of problem of difference between so-called intimate and uh, performative identity. Uh, it at the same time misses the appropriate uh, identification and articulation of this problem and its consequently productive consideration. In fact, we can say that both these layers of or forms of self-identification have indisputable social reality and uh, relevance to their social entities. And performative identity has a certain social reality for others as well. Therefore, uh, they cannot be expressed in uh, categories of truthfulness or falsehood since they are falsehood or truthfulness or conditionally speaking, relative, relative social reality is constantly determined in the dynamic and dialectical relationship of mutual, uh, mutual Called determination between intimate or real identity and uh, performative or false identity on the one hand and at the same time from their permanent relationship with the others on the other hand. Namely, even uh, in the most extreme cases where a social entity appropriate or adults and intimately align uh, identity for single use for the purpose of dealing with a certain social situation that is achieving a projected goal that short-term short 
performative identity is not without any social reality or relevance to its carrier. For example, in the most extreme case of performative identity, when an actor plays a part that acted or that acted or performative identity can uh, have serious consequences for his or her real or intimate identity. For example, well-played actress Miriam Khan was categorized as a traitor to the Serbian people by part of Serbian media for, for her role in some uh, films. According to the most widely distributed Belgrade-based daily career, the straw that broke the comes back of anti-Serbian treason in her case, uh, in her case when she accepted to play the part of, of Albanian Hapa, the mother of the young boy in the Norwegian film Mirush. In doing so, this daily and some of other media <coughs> also recycled other attacks for national treason because of her parts in the Sarajevo movie Grbavica and the part of the mother of Croatian soldier in the movie Svidoci. Okay. Uh, uh, this was just one example to make it uh, 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 a bit uh, to help to understand this. Or uh, you can uh, take uh, another example uh, from Kosovo. For example, when some young Albanians in Kosovo declared themselves Bosniaks, uh, just to enroll on the faculty of uh, uh, medicine of the University of Pristina, it can be assumed that they will not have serious long-term uh, consequences. Bosnian identity <coughs> has no negative implication in the course of public. <coughs> but the <coughs> uh, uh, same cannot be said for the fourth or according to some uh, other data, a 28 uh, Serbian family who petitioned to municipal authorities in the southern Serbian town of Medveja to change their names and become Albanian so they could keep their apartments in which they had moved in illegal, in illegally. Uh, since they hope it will be easier to realize their intention in this way. Given the extent, extreme ethnic distance to Albanians in Serbia. <coughs> okay, let's uh, leave it with this. Uh, and uh, maybe there are Issue that we can uh, discuss now. <coughs> I apologize if uh, there were places where you could, could not uh, follow uh, clearly because I jumped in order to <coughs> to go through main uh, uh, aspects of uh, of the talk, topic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Discussion on Kosovo's identity pre-war 
and how did they differ uh, from the post-war discussions? And uh, uh, additionally, do the discussions in the 80s and 90s also differ? <coughs> As I said, uh, there's this discussion uh, on Kosovo identity after the war. Uh, it was uh, the first time that it attracted the attention of mass media. However, uh, <clears throat> there have been uh, discussions on identity issues uh, before the war. Uh, namely, uh, during the 90s, we had uh, 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 <clears throat> discussion of uh, identity issues was uh, initiated in uh, uh, the uh, Journal of uh, Association of Philosophers and Sociologists of Kosovo, Thema. Uh, a two issues uh, uh, were. were <coughs> Uh, thematical blocks of articles uh, that uh, were published. Uh, later on, uh, some of these uh, discussions uh, uh, continued in uh, uh, journal MM since uh, uh, there have been changes. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, in the uh, editorial board uh, of uh, <coughs> journal Thema, and uh, so discussion continued at the uh, Journal for Literature Theory, MM. Uh, earlier in the 80s, we didn't have discussion. We can say that. Uh, uh, first mentions of uh, concept uh, or term of identity we can find uh, from time to time in uh, 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 writings of uh, literary critics, uh, uh, young uh, Kosovo critics of literature who try to bring uh, ideas and uh, new concepts from uh, the West, and then uh, rarely you can find the uh, mentioned uh, term uh, identity, but we don't have explicit uh, uh, thematization and uh, wide consideration of this issue before the 90s, that is, uh, before this uh, 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 two issues of uh, German Thema. Uh, but uh, the new thing about uh, the debate after the war is that first time it attracted the uh, uh, attention of mass media. Before the war it was just uh, a journal, uh, professional journal, which didn't have uh, <coughs> significant uh, circulation, uh, and uh, so it was uh, closed uh, discussion uh, uh, among uh, readers, uh, small community readers of this journal. <coughs> After the war, we have uh, this uh, issue attracting. Uh, attention of uh, mass media and uh, becoming a uh, uh, very intriguing uh, issue both for general public and uh, indeed for academic uh, community of Kosovo. Like 
this discussion in the FEMA uh, <coughs> at the beginning of the 90s and later at the uh, uh, Journal uh, MM did not address issue of Kosovo identity. Issues that were discussed then were uh, mainly issues of uh, national identity. And, uh, <coughs> Meaning Albanian national identity. Albanian national identity uh, in, uh, in relation uh, mainly to Serbian national identity. And uh, there have been some uh, uh, <coughs> other uh, contributions, that is, translations from uh, Western authors like Habermas, uh, Edgar Morin, uh, and others, but uh, uh, Kosovo authors uh, addressed uh, mainly issues of identity in context of uh, confrontation of uh, 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 Albanians or <coughs> Albanian society in Kosovo with the uh, Serbian uh, state. Anyone else? Do you want to add something? Yeah, and that's do we, is it then right to talk about national identity or ethnic identity? Sorry. Uh, which term do we talk about national identity or more about ethnic identity? Uh, our folks at the time mainly used the term uh, national identity, but uh, uh, if we want to elaborate this, uh, we can uh, also talk about ethnic identities because we are talking about national ethnic identities. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have first one question, maybe just to. Uh, so you said clearly this is uh, theoretically uh, viable, of course, that uh, identities are constructed in relation with the other. But uh, the introduction of the state in 2008 is not mentioned uh, as an element, relevant, important element in in the in the speedy construction of the Kosovo identity, right? Because the pace is now different. It's not, of course, there are several obstacles ahead introduced, but uh, there are positions that the state will introduce a new identity uh, or even a new nation, uh, and uh, this did not appear in your, uh, uh, in your presentation. Second, uh, just to explain, uh, even though there were not a lot of discussions about uh, the Kosovo identity, there were several attempts to discuss this uh, still relevant issue and a challenge to the Kosovo society. Uh, Gazeta Yava uh, also. Uh, a number of uh, discussions were uh, introduced through that uh, newspaper. Uh, as a, as an independent institution in 2007, we initiated a series of conferences, one of them identity restoration, where Yusuf was also part of the conference. This was just before the Declaration of Independence, because we anticipated that this process will, let's say, have an impact on the cost of our society. Uh, uh, the conference was intentionally uh, a type of identity restoration, because I personally anticipated that the Albanian identity will be uh, threatened or, or it will resurrect uh, as, a, as, a, as a process and we have these uh, phenomena uh, uh, entering political life more and more uh, not, like, not only in Kosovo but also in Europe, uh, more recently. So just the idea of the state and what that brings okay. into this uh, process of, of uh, construction of the, the, uh, the new identity. Okay, uh, <clears throat> first, uh, I didn't address that issue because there, is, there was no time. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> what I presented here is part uh, of a larger study, longer study, I 
it was uh, already published in a book. Uh, here I <coughs> wanted to present uh, just a part of it, which deals with uh, this uh, theoretical uh, <coughs> issue, that is a uh, concept uh, to address uh, uh, processes of uh, transformation of social identities. I thought this can be more perceptible, more attractive to uh, an international audience, uh, assuming that uh, this uh, would be uh, <coughs> followed by people who are not from Kosovo. Otherwise, uh, uh, <coughs> I address and to discuss that those issues that you mentioned uh, extensively in my book, uh, namely uh, uh, proclamation of independence in 2008 changed significantly the uh, landscape uh, of uh, <coughs> a context uh, and indeed uh, 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 affected the uh, uh, discussion on uh, Kosovo identity after that. Namely, uh, 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 those who uh, uh, took the mandate to protect Albanian national identity from Kosovo identity since uh, <coughs> many of uh, participants in this debate uh, claim that uh, Kosovo identity is a real threat to Albanian national identity. These people uh, 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 in uh, in best cases, it would allow to discuss about uh, Kosovo identity only as a sub-identity of Albanian national identity. Uh, they claim that uh, Kosovo identity is only uh, regional uh, <coughs> identity within larger Albanian national identity and uh, <coughs> so uh, therefore it cannot uh, uh, be treated in other ways uh, only as a part of uh, Albanian national identity. However, uh, uh, a proclamation of uh, independence of Kosovo in 2008 change this context. Uh, uh, Kosovo identity became a state uh, identity, identity of uh, uh, an independent state. And therefore, uh, no one uh, could uh, uh, insist anymore that it is only a regional identity within the Armenian national identity. <coughs> but this is a long story and uh, it could be for another presentation.